One of the more eye-catching results of the season came on the opening weekend when Bray Wanderers departed Oriel Park with a point. Today, leaving them as one of only two sides to leave the loud venue with something this season. And they made a decent start in their return. Daniel Kelly's well-struck effort beaten away by Gary Rogers. But Dundalk soon settled to their rhythm and Stephen Kenny's side would find the breakthrough just 13 minutes in. Daniel Cleary's raking diagonal ball picked out Sean Hoare. His cross flicked on by Dylan Connolly, leaving Patrick Huben to sweep the ball to the roof of the brain net beyond Evan Moran. Cue the celebration that has become commonplace this season from the league's leading marksman. Bray's attempts to play out from the back misfire just three minutes later. Dan McKenna's ball under pressure pounced on by Chris Shields. Jamie McGrath laid it off for Connolly, who produced a fine finish and what was a fifth consecutive league start for the ex-Bray winger. Bray then lost key man Gary McCabe to injury and soon after two almost became three for the home side. Michael Duffy has stamped his name all over the current campaign and a superb piece of skill saw him glide past Dylan Hayes before setting up Huben, who smacked an effort off the outside of the post. But number three did arrive six minutes before the break. Sean Hoare, who was impressed at right back, deputising for the injured Sean Gannon, floated in across the Conor Kenna ducked under. Duffy reacted quicker than Hayes, and after his effort was parried, McGrath had the simplest of tasks to convert from close range. The second half resumed with the home side again on the front foot and it took a fine save for Moran to deny Duffy from finding what would have been a ninth league goal of the season. Bray held out until just after the hour mark when Dundalk crafted a superb fourth. Gartland, Adarjan and Duffy all involved before Dean Jarvis swung over a tempting cross that was brilliantly dispatched by Huben, his 14th league goal of the season. The hosts were in a repressible form and came close to a fifth when Hoare guided Duffy's corner goalwards, only for Daniel Cleary to see his header cleared off the line. Last season, Dundalk's title defence was a goose as good as cooked by the summer break, by which time they had lost six of 17 league games. Just two defeats in 20 now this season signals the side intent on reclaiming their crown, and they grabbed a fifth goal on 76 minutes. Marco Tagbajumi, four days after scoring his first league goal in the win here against Waterford, grabbed another after good work in the build-up from Jarvis and Duffy. A beleaguered Bray had no answer, and they almost shipped a sixth when the unplayable Duffy set sail down the left-hand side and crossed for Ronan Murray, but his was a header that sailed too high, a let-off for Bray. With an injury less prior to the game nearing double figures, Bray laid on lost young defender Andrew McGovern to a broken leg after a sickening heavy collision with teammate Kevin Lynch. Having lost their captain Stephen O'Donnell to a broken tibia in Wardford just three weeks ago, the reaction of the Dundalk players was telling. From McGovern's teammates, a shocking end to a chastening night. There was to be one final chance for Dundalk to add to the scoreline and it was Ronan Murray who was left cursing his luck when his sweetly guided volley from Jarvis Cross came back off the crossbar. But it was a game long since won, a fifth league win on the bounce for Dundalk and a 14th league clean sheet to boot. Final score Dundalk 5, Bray Wanderers nil.